boy Doughboy TV. I'm back again with another banger, man. You know, topic on the flow for today's video. We got Fox and Millie, we got Boosie, and we got Webby. Now, before we get into it, I want to say thank you to all the support I've been getting on my channel, man. Make sure that y'all share this video, man. I know I tell y'all usually to like, comment, and subscribe, but I want y'all to share this video and let's jump straight into it. Doughboy TV gang, what's popping, man? Make sure y'all hit this video with a like comment down below make sure y'all follow me on my social medias on facebook and twitter it's right here and like i say in every video i'm out man the truth then came out man webby and boosie really don't mess with each other and it's crazy because you know if you really think about it right webby and boosie ain't messed with each other since little fat died and i'm gonna just leave it at that and y'all want me to do a video on why i think they really don't mess with each other man i'll let y'all know but you know, Fox Emilio had his opinion and he got some real words that he want to get to the bloggers. He, um, you know, he really dissing DJ Vlad, talk about, you know, DJ Vlad being messy and basically storing up the pot with Webby and Boosie. And I feel that way, too, because I feel like they so they been so close, even they might not be so close no more, but they've been so close that they should handle this behind the scenes. Like you, you should never let this get to media, especially if it's over some street stuff or whatever, because at the end of the day, this man was campaigning for you, Boosie. This man was campaigning. When you was on death row, he was campaigning. He was yelling your name. He might have not been financially stable to give you the money at the time, but at the same time, the way Webby's saying, he's saying he sacrificed everything for you. He, that means he gave money to your people. And, you know, I, I don't know the full situation because you got Boosie saying he didn't give nothing. But let's listen in to Fox and Millie, basically, his point of view on the whole situation because he got more of a deeper point of view because he worked with him right before they split so let's listen to him and man let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation down in the comments and boy it's your boy doughboy tv i'm out man check this out this for the bloggers you heard me yeah i seen that shit on youtube y'all still talking about white man on bro y'all take some shit that i was talking about on my instagram live so fucking long ago then post that shit today and try to allow some clickbait shit trying to make it seem like it's 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 it's, it's something that is not dj vlad did that same shit you know what i'm saying then y'all take the shit webby said today when he posted me on his page trying to flip his words to try to make it seem like it's something that is not i don't understand why the fuck, like like y'all don't hear us on music so y'all want us beefing that's what it is that's what it is well, let me go and get all this for you. Check this out. Me and Savage ain't got no motherfucking problems. And Savage and Boost ain't got no motherfucking problems. Just because y'all don't hear us on no goddamn music together don't mean we ain't 1,000. That don't mean it's beef. That's the problem with people. That's the fucking problem with people. But y'all call yourselves fans, though. Man, come on, man. Stop it. That fake ass blog shit too. Look, if you ain't talking about my new music, don't talk about me at all. Straight like that. I don't want to hear shit about no white man at all. It's a new fucking year. Of course, I'm going to promote the motherfucker because that's my shit at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But man, man let that shit go. I got straight out some two coming soon. I got underdog finna drop. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck all that.